there are a lot of people who have more stuff than they have space for and that's good news for people who have some space if you wouldn't mind someone playing with their dog in your yard or parking in your driveway or even using a spare closet you can make a lot of money renting it out websites like swimply allow pool owners to rent it out when they're not using it Turo helps people rent their cars or trucks to someone needing one for a day or two. Got a backyard? Sniff Spot can help rent it out to a pet owner for a play date for $10 to $25 an hour. Then neighbor rent spaces. If you've got an empty garage, you can list it for rent. This one is listed for $300 a month. It also lists parking spots for rent. And depending on where your driveway is, someone might be willing to pay hundreds of dollars every month. And PeerSpace lets people rent out their space for a variety of things. If you got a nice view, someone might rent it out for a photo or video shoot. This former junkyard has been rented 50 times as a photo shoot location for $100 an hour. If you have Wi-Fi in a dining room or office, someone might be willing to rent it out for a few hours to use as their own workspace or host co-workers. Now, property owners set the rules, they decide who to rent to, and all of the payments are done through the apps and the websites to make sure you get paid. It would still feel a little creepy for some people, and I get it. But remember, it wasn't that long ago. People would never consider renting someone else's house or hopping into a car with a stranger for a ride. But then Airbnb and Uber came along. Maybe it's time to clean out the storage room and put it up for rent. That's what the tech. I'm Jamie Tucker.